Hello, this is Dr. Glenn Duroso, neck and back pain relief chiropractor. Uh, in this video, I want to give you a stretch that you can do for uh, the sacroiliac joint. Uh, so the sacroiliac joint is, is located uh, in your pelvis. Um, when you kind of feel those two knobs in your back when you slide inside of those uh, bumps or knobs, that's the right and left sacroiliac joint. And so you can have localized pain um, right in that joint, or sometimes what can happen is, is if the sacroiliac joint is really stiff and locked up, that it can cause your lower back pain to start to um, occur or the lumbar spine to compensate, thus causing uh, lower back pain. So one way to assess that SI joint is, is can you bring your leg up into this position. And some people, if their sacroiliac joints are, are really tight and locked up, they may only be able to get uh, to here. And so that right there can be uh, an assessment that you can do. Now, if you can't, you can kind of slide forward and then just kind of run your leg. So you've kind of extended out this leg or straightened it out, and then you can bring this up and that's an easier way to get it uh, into this position. Um, and so what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, bring this leg up, you're gonna stand up tall, and you're gonna press down on this, this knee. And you will feel a stretch kind of in your glute in that sacroiliac joint. So right now we're stretching the right side. But then what we want to do is, is while we're standing up tall, putting pressure down here, is, is we want to lean to the left or away from this right sacroiliac joint. And you're going to feel, it, feel an even greater stretch right in that SI joint or just outside of it. And again, you can hold these for 30 seconds or a minute, and then as you improve, go deeper into that stretch. But again, if we're doing the right side, we've got the right leg up, and then we want to go opposite of that right SI joint. So we're moving to the left away from the side that we're stretching. That'll increase that stretch on the sacroiliac joint. And when we open that up, it can help improve pain in the SI joint, but it can also improve uh, pain in the lower back if your lower back has been compensating for that. And if, and if it's a left side, then you can just do uh, the same thing on the opposite side. But again, a great way to assess uh, your SI joint and then a great way to uh, open that joint up, uh, reduce its tightness, and that oftentimes re leads to uh, pain relief. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Dr. Eric Lund, your Rollsville Neck and Back Pain Relief Chiropractor.